If we click on the next tab we find at the top, day by day, we're actually shown the graphical information for all of these categories grouped in day. So as I scroll down, you'll see, for instance, for Thursday the 14th, we have the blood glucose graph, we have the CGM graph, and we have the insulin pump graph. On these graphs, we're able to see that the timeline across the bottom is actually the same for each graph, which in practice means that all the events line up time-wise. So we can see, for instance, this patient has had an 8.8 .8 reading at the same sort of time that they were having carbs. The amount of carbs can be found on the right-hand side. So at this case, it was 40 grams. So when the patient had an 8.8 .8 blood glucose and 40 grams of carbs, they had a bolus of three units. Now it's up to the clinician to decide if this is the correct amount, if they'd like to change any insulin sensitivity settings on the pump or even carb ratios, but also have conversations around patient behavior, activity, and any choices that a patient has made to come up with this way of treating this specific situation. The beauty of using CGM is you can actually see the impact of your decision further down the line. We can see that blood glucose rose and then fell again. When we get to just past 12 o'clock, the patient had carbs again, in this case 45 grams as we see on the right hand side. This coincided with a blood sugar of 8 exactly and the patient decided to give a 3.5 unit bolus. Now, this information can actually be used to decide whether a patient is treating certain life events effectively, if any changes need to be made, maybe it's lifestyle discussions, maybe it's actually settings on an insulin pump. Uh, there's all manner of different conversation topics that a clinician can have based on this information. You will also see, looking at the basal profile, that we have a temporary basal that a patient has used at this point. So that could be a conversation in itself or even looking at if a patient is calibrating their CGM. If a patient is using flash glucose monitoring, you can actually see the specific scans that a patient has done throughout the day. As we scroll down, you'll see how the same information appears for various different days. This can be useful if you're looking at a specific basal profile and you think it's impacting blood glucose in a certain way. And you can see if that's the case for every day, or just particular days of the week. Perhaps it coincides with a day where there's increased levels of physical activity. These are all areas of questioning that a clinician may want to explore. And this information can do wonders in helping to ensure that a clinician has all the information they need to make the best possible clinical decision. On the right hand side, you'll also see a donut graph showing the percentage of basal to bolus and any specific time changes in the basal profile, as well as the exact bolus amounts and times.